So Zorak, we're gonna play my fish game now. It, it, this is made by Mech, so I, I assume this is like Oregon Trail underwater. Sorta. Sorta, kind of. Not really. No. Uh, a lot of people probably remember this because a lot of schools had it. Uh, it's a sequel to Odell Lake, which was basically this, but text adventure. So, um, no dysentery. Nope. Uh, basically, we're going to go through and play every fish in the game working up the food chain. And that is how I believe that religion works. It's totally how evolution works. I mean, it, that, that you are evolving up, correct? So, pretty much. You get enough points, you level up to the next fish. Like, you point at things and you eat it. Silver Sprat can't eat coral, he doesn't get any points. Can't eat himself, doesn't get any points. Eat thyself, Silver Sprat. Now pretty much everything here could pretty much kill and eat him in a heartbeat. Oh, we found Plankton. Plankton is literally just a bunch of red pixels that float around. It is the only thing this fish eats and it makes it just annoying. It's odd that plankton seems to be confined to tiny little clouds. Yeah, it, it is. Now, here's the thing. If you get one that eats, like, algae, algae doesn't move. That's convenient. You literally just have to find algae. And that's it. You pretty much won. As long as you don't get eaten. See, this fish has a special ability. If you get space, you'll actually use it. His ability is he can attract other fish. Because he looks like a cleaner fish. So wait, he but just takes I, bites out of random other fish? He literally fish. just bites out of fish. Like that stingray. Eat it, stingray. So you could kill even a shark. Most nothing eats the cleaner Blenny because it looks like a cleaner wrasse. See, there he's dancing. He's luring fish over to him. <laughs> so why wouldn't you just play as this guy the entire game? You'd get, like, all the points. Nothing wants to kill you. Well, things do want to kill you. They're less friendly fish. This is the first one that can actually eat, like animals like that cleaner shrimp see some things do eat the cleaners that shrimp looked a lot bigger than you are yeah there you haven't seen anything yet cannot eat that flashlight fish the scale here seems a bit off must say it really is for a lot of stuff it's actually funny because you can see little tiny yellow fish right there that he's eaten mm-hmm very fucking tiny I, I never noticed them for years Oh, now the fish is going to eat coral. Guess what? There's coral everywhere, and it doesn't go away when you eat it. Kind of seems seen. to defeat the point, then. Yep, we've seen more idols. That we have. Morsh have the weird thing where if they bite a sponge, instead of gradually going away, they just eat the entire sponge in one go. Damn. Lungfish, sort of, kind of, not really. This can eat cleaners. Can eat cleaners. Not plants, though. Space, just click everything you see. Maybe you can eat it. This is very loosely a game. Very loosely a game, and it taught me about fish when I was a kid. Now, here's the thing about this fish. If you looked at the thing before, it says it eats plankton and crustaceans. Mm -hmm. None of the crustaceans in this game it can eat. Not even the shrimp. So you can only eat plankton. So, it's not practicing what it preaches. Basically, guess what the problem is with this fish? Sometimes plankton doesn't spawn. Like, at all? Or just, at like, all. you have to wait for it? You have to look for plankton, and sometimes, in this Great Barrier Reef, you cannot find plankton. You can starve to death as a filter-feeding plankton eater. What? Yeah, if you look at the little bar at the bottom, it shows your energy. Once that runs out, you die. Uh-huh. And it's not looking good for this cardinal fish. Not looking good at all. A bunch of whale sharks went by just five minutes ago. Up, up, up! I actually got eaten there at the last second by that coral trap on the last screen. I didn't actually starve to death. He gave you an easy out. Now you can basically end the game or continue on, and it's like, yeah, you just start over at your score. The score, which we can't really see, I, as, as far as I can tell. Yeah, if you play this in a modern operating system, the border crops everything out. You can't see that. You can't see your health either, which also ticks down unless you get cleaned regularly. Uh-huh. So. 
so we don't know exactly how unhealthy you are right now. Right, but it's really hard to die by that. Mm -hmm. See, some things you can take a bite out of shrimp and it won't, it'll just, you can keep hunting it down. Ooh, an electric ray back there. Bite out of shrimp. See, that fit, that runner's trying to chase him down and eat me. Mm -hmm. The benefit you have is if you click on a fish that you want to eat, it just stops and lets you eat it. Mm -hmm. Which, I guess, is a thing. So, are other fish able to move between screens, or are they stuck yeah. to the one screen? Uh, it's actually funny, because if you go left, you shoot to the rightmost screen. Mm -hmm. And basically, it means the fish is following you around the world to eat you. <laughs> Very determined fish. There's something freaking these fish out over there. There's a jellyfish. I don't think anything can actually eat that jellyfish. And I've never been eaten by it, but if you eat it, it's poisonous and nearly kills you. Huh. So. If only you could be a sea turtle. If only. Yeah, there are no sea turtles in this game, and I was always sad about that. Stupid it little sweeper. It seemed very skewed towards fish. Yep. There is one non-fish that you can play as, and it kicks ass. Do you play as it? Yes, I do. Excellent, I'm looking forward to it. And that's surgeon fish, I must say it looks awfully like a blue tang. Same species. That's what I thought. That is our lovely blue tang friend that we took pictures of. There's a weird trait of this fish, it's when he eats something, he looks back and forth three or four times, every time you click. And that's not supposed to happen. But uh -huh. it always does it, and there's a good chance that you will be eaten while you're doing this. He's just uh, giving a little dance, like a jig, like, hey, I found some plankton. Rabbit fish. Eat plants, whatever, who cares? They're poisonous, so if you eat one of these normally, you're pretty much fucked. Mm -hmm. But that, that's that level. There's another tang. This tang has sharp spines in its ability. You can actually use the spines to actually poke fish. So what, do you just touch stuff with your tail? It drives and away? away, and that's about it, yeah. Oh, I see. And this is another algae eater, so... I, I think I'm just here, just... hitting fish. <laughs> For no reason. Hey, if you had sharp spines on your tail, assuming you had one, you'd probably use it to just uh, piss Look shit off all the time. Eats. This fish eats literally plants and animals. <laughs> this is the everything. Humu by the way. I love the humu. The humu, humu, nuka, nuka, apua. Yes. So, yeah, just have to find plants and animals, and you can eat them, and... So you can eat literally anything as him? No. Oh. It's very misleading. State fish of Hawaii, that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the variegated lizard fish. I think I just spend this one eating worms. It is a trait you'll see that all fish will just eat worms. Oh, silver sprat. Demoiselle. Yay. We saw a flathead in Endless Ocean, but it was an undefined species. It was just flathead in general. This fish has another weird quirk, and it's if you try to eat something, he spazzes out and darts away like he's afraid of it. Like, you'll see it here when I try to eat something. He just darts away, usually off the screen. Huh. Like, watch. Weird. Him. And if he leaves the screen before he eats it, you don't get to eat it, and you'll usually starve to death. Like right there. I'm not really sure of... I see the replayability of this game. Though, there really is none. And, you know, I, I see they, they have a little blurb, so they kind of worked a bit of an encyclopedia, in, but uh, I don't know if it really would be as effective of a learning game as, say, Oregon Trail. It taught me that crocodile needlefish are a fish. That's about it. Eat them gobies. Up. Oh. Is that our first shark that we've seen? It's our first shark. There are only two sharks in this game. I see. Now this literally has only two things that can eat it. And he has a hilarious animation. It does. If you actually look, that fish up the top corner is one of the things that can eat it. Which you'll never really see too much. Huh. Except if you're playing as this fish and they spawn everywhere. My <laughs> this fish sits at the bottom. There's our second shark. This sit fish sits at the bottom and just waits for food. Mm -hmm. But if you do that in the game, you'll starve to death first. Now, I don't, also, your camouflage does nothing and fish easily see you and will kill you. So you're saying that this learning game is also not very accurate with its learning. Oh, God, no. 
So what is this game accomplishing, then? Um... You click and fish? Well, it is basically touching fish, so yeah, I can get down with that, yeah. It's, 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 it's fish touching hey. as a fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, parrotfish. Guess what parrotfish eat? Uh, is a coral. Yes, guess what that means? You're gonna be done in, like, five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel fish. They eat crabs and shrimp. Guess what? Shrimp. Crabs and shrimp. A lot of these fish are just boring to play as. Mm -hmm. Because almost every fish comes down to find a shrimp, find a worm, find a shrimp. Well, I mean, if you're not an apex predator, that's a given, though. You tend to be a bit bottom-loaded. Yeah, it just makes it kind of a... Eh, game. That's true. Except this one can't even eat worms. You have to literally find crabs or shrimp. Like that crab behind, behind that core back there. <laughs> and I thought camouflage didn't work. It doesn't for you, because you can easily see him. Oh. Well, you went by him once before. Yeah, but... Eh, I do that. The game's weird to control. Flashlight Fist has another ability. It can illuminate, which does absolutely nothing. Are you going to show it, it off? Acts, yeah, you can see how it lights up with a little white spot? That's illuminating. Oh. It does does it attract a... stuff or something? It d Sort of not really. Well, he's kind of hiding in that cave, kind of. Yep. Or does that you, do anything? You can hide in caves and things won't see you unless they decide to see you. I see. Yeah. Uh, the thing about the illumination is if you find another flashlight fish on screen, it mm -hmm. illuminates, it scares you away. It literally does the opposite of doing what it does. You think if it saw another flashlight fish, it'd be pretty fun. Oh, clown trigger fish. Yep. I like these guys. Neat sea urchins. It's got neat is... coloration. Yep. You need starfish too. Yeah, some of the fish on this look fine, and then some are really cartoony. Like mm -hmm. great white. Oh, is that a humphead wrasse up there? That is a humphead wrasse. Uh, blue line snappers are neat because they can eat sea urchins, but the way they do it is they shoot water at them, and mm -hmm. it flips them over and eat the other side. Neat. I, I, I suppose you don't actually do that in the game. No, you just eat them. You click them and eat them. Man, this is teaching Angel bad fish. science. Someone's going to be out there trying to spot this shit, and then you're going to be like... Ah, oh, coral. It's just coral. Clicking that coral. Triggerfish. Guess what triggerfish eat? Same thing as everything else, apparently. Eat sponges, actually. You can eat the sponges. Oh, well, that's true. He has got a very funny face. They do. Most fish have really funny faces. Can't eat that seahorse, Mr. Sea Triggerfish. I bet he could if he wanted to. Eh, I don't think he'd want to. Pufferfish. This has an ability. Flighting. Can you like, yep. scare shit with it, or...? You can, but only if something's actually coming to eat you. I see. So if something so is... A reverse. If something's coming to eat you, it does not give a shit that you can inflate three times your size. You can <laughs> scare away other fish that could possibly eat you, though. I see. This is another fish that can eat coral and... So, you're quickly done, then. Pretty much. It's lionfish. lionfish bit of a pest yep. nowadays. Yeah, they are. I actually ate some the other day. Oh, did you actually eat some? They're, they're decent flavored. Hmm. Lionfish know... swim very slowly. Does your poisonous spines help at all, or no? They're... Nothing really eats you except for great whites, like that one right there, and hooked mm -hmm. rat. I see. And I think the coral trout. Because it can just pretty much eat anything at once. Because so I know fish and wildlife are encouraging people to eat lionfish. No, they're, they're very prevalent in the Atlantic right now, and they're mm -hmm. not non native species. They're originally from, from the Indian Ocean. They yeah. escaped, nah, people had aquariums, they dumped them. I thought that needlefish just ate me. That would have made me sad. That was close. I, it was eating something behind me. Eat that shrimp. Slowly go to and eat the. Uh, I beat the level before I got to him. Cowfish. Ah, oh, cowfish. Go. I love cowfish. Go to the box fish. They are another thing that just eats sponges. I'm sure you're very entertained by this fish poking game, Zorak. I, I am. I am thrilled by it. It's a coral grouper. Or at least they included a wide range of fish and not necessarily big name fish. Like there's mm -hmm. some diversity going on. Yep. And like I said, the, the prequel to this game is Odell Lake, and it's Italy. And Osprey's approaching. What do you do? Dive up or dive down? Uh, dive up. I'm tired of playing this game. 
embrace the touch of death. Oh, Odell Lake. Embrace the Osprey. <laughs> Pompano. They're a popular sport fish out here in Florida. Never eaten one of those. Eh, they're not that good to eat. Can't eat seahorses. Yeah, it's... A lot of the game is actually finding things to eat, and it's like, fuck it, I'll eat this worm. Mm -hmm. Because there will always be worms. Can't eat that grouper. Wait, it just said you couldn't eat it, and then you ate it, and then you got I, your points. And then, yeah, eventually, as you get big enough, you can just eat them, and it'll kill the fish off, but it mm -hmm. doesn't give you points. I see. You basically get points for not dying. I see. Like, you, you can sort of see my score slowly rising up. Oh, I see. Not getting killed. And another thing, you can just eat the same sedimentary animal. Bible stars are pretty neat. They're like starfish, but all gangly. Spadefish, guess what he eats? I'll Boring do. shit. Oh my god, it's just eating algae. Welcome to the ocean. <laughs> so this is kind of a bit like the, the spore phase with the uh, primitive life. Except kind that was of, kind yeah. of... Except that was a bit more fun. Yeah. You're really just, oh, finally we're getting to the predatory fish. I wonder how much time they actually spent making this game. Like, did they did they spend like two years, you know, at the drawing board? Like, how are we going to teach these people about fish? Well, after the great success of Odell Lake, we got to follow it up with something. Why don't we have people control fish on a two D plane and eat yep. other fish? Uh, if you didn't figure it out, it's called Odell Down Under because you're on the Great Barrier Reef. All of these fish are found on the Great Barrier Reef. Huh. The Great White, not so often. It even says it's not very common, but you will see it everywhere in this fucking game. And now we're a mackerel, which I don't believe you actually usually see on the reefs. They're more of an open water type fish. Well, the reefs are adjacent to open water fish. It's it's the yeah. hand waving type thing. Look, we just found a polar bear uh, at yeah. freaking you know middle of the Pacific Ocean. I think you know. At this point, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Hey, a grouper, first actual oh, grouper. grouper. You can't eat that cleaner fish, Mister Grouper. I mean, you could, but it, it goes against your character. I broke character. <laughs> You're role playing this grouper very badly. I'm a terrible role player. <laughs> A lot of barracuda swimming around. Good show! Nifty! I love the exclamations it gives you. Hey, they have fun with it somewhere. Wow! wow. Radical! Radical. Uh, Blue Spider Ray has an ability that can, it can use its tail, but it doesn't really do shit. And basically, with this, you're just gonna look for snails and eat them. It doesn't stingray. seem to be using that stinger very yep. accurately. No, it's really not. I, in fact, I do not even see a stinger on it. You can't. But with most stingrays, it's in a sheath of flesh, and then it comes out when it uses it. It cuts True. through. True. But its tail here is very... Here is the wobbly. only non-fish. It's the cuttlefish. Look at oh. its ability. It can squirt ink. Guess what that means? I'm going to just use this. Over. <laughs> that is awesome. It doesn't uh, look very cuttlefishy, though. I mean, it, it vaguely. It does, but it doesn't. Uh, cuttlefish are one of my favorite fish. They can eat cleaner ass. They do not give a shit. Uh, they are delicious. I they're, fucking love cuttlefish. They're not really a fish, though. No, it is not. So you can't really call it one of your favorite fish. Zorak, shut up. Flute mouth has a weird trait and actually reproduce it in this game, and it's when it's eating, it goes completely vertical and sucks it in that way. That's neat. It's a very weird habit that some fish have, and it does that. It's trying to look like seaweed, clearly. It's a I bit guess. of camouflage, I would guess. I, I assume it doesn't accomplish anything in the game, but... Almost looks like a Muppet. It does, actually. Can't eat that. Oh, beat the level. A sweet lip. You're well on your way to beating this game. No, right? So, Vertebrates. I, I guess technically you can't lose it. You you lose points. And then you no. There's a mode where you can create a fish, and it literally just makes a fish that's not in the game, and then gives you its... That great white was just eating a sponge. I don't know if you saw that. 
Wait, what do you mean, like create a fish in what regard? You create a fish, and it'll be like, here's a tuna. There's no tuna in the game, but here's the tuna, and we made up a food set for it. And it literally <laughs> copies just the move set of another fish, so you can get a tuna that can only eat plankton, or a tuna that can only eat algae. It's the stupidest thing. <laughs> okay, so it's not really creating the fish as much as... Yep, Electric Ray has the power, it can electric shock things. Yes! Uh, count that eating it, and I will... Uh, you can't really tell, but I'm actually using the power like I was the fucking cuttlefish. Oh, so you just walk by see, stuff see, as I dies. pass a fish, I will kill it just by being by it. Like right there. Huh. Honestly, the art for it makes it look more like a trilobite. It does. To, it, to it be entirely a... honest. Uh, torpedoes are actually what our word torpid comes from. Huh. Yep. Might be vice versa there, but I don't care. Because look at this thing, it's just shocking the hell out of it. It is an electric type. Eat it, worm. Feel my uh, electric I, I, power. I thought, I thought lantern was the only water electrical type. Oh no! A shark! I gotta Did you just me. die? I got away, but the shark ate me. But, but you're right there. I, I know. Oh. Unicorn fish! Also has sharp spines, like the Achilles tang. It's only predators are very large fish. Like that humpback rat. Oh. <laughs> so you vanished there. You didn't vanish before. Yeah. Sometimes the game does that. Uh, that was punishment for my hubris of trying to stab the humpback rat. <laughs> I harassed the rat, and that is the punishment. This Rass is a weird-looking fish I've never seen anywhere else. It's called a clown chorus. Huh. It literally eats only hard-shelled invertebrates. So if you try eating a soft shell, it'd be like, uh-uh, no way. I'm not even sure, but it can eat sea urchins, who cares? Football trout. He does kind of look like a football. He does. He's both shaped like an American football, and he's black and white, so he covers both your bases. There you go. Just swallowed a parrotfish hole. And a goatfish hole. And a coral grouper hole. Yeah, I'm not sure they're accomplishing their learning thing right here. It I mean, gets, I'm vaguely learning things, but... It gets stupider. And see, I actually tried to click that squirrel fish, but hit the enemy, and it tore a hell out of my energy there. Because huh. you can't eat sea enemies, apparently. They're poisonous. Who knew? Very edgy on that grouper. And then it's like, fuck it, I'll just go eat the bridal star and finish the level. Mori eel, yes. Mori eel. Now, Zorak, you know how mori eels eat, right? They just yes. kind of hang out in the cave all day. Yep. They don't free swim into the fucking open ocean like this. Yeah, they're ambush predators. They're well, not, let's, let's, let's try to live like a mori eel. Here, we'll sit in this cave. <laughs> I guess that's close enough. We'll eat him. Go back to the cave. This is the best plan. The life of a mori eel is really boring, and I get really tired of it really quickly. <laughs> You yep. seem to get more chill okay. about it. Can't eat that. It is fun to note that fish run away from you after you tear a chunk out of them. Huh. But they're so you fine. Can chase them down. Yep. It's a crocodile needlefish. Yep. Genus name Tylosaurus. I think its species name is like Crocodilus or something, right? Plus, yep. Sweet. And Barracuda, now we're getting into the goddamn predators. Barracuda are neat. I have dived with them. I have as well. They're very fun to uh, scuba dive with. They they have a lot of interest in you. Just don't have anything shiny on you. They will lash out at shiny things. Like a barracuda attacking a fish. Yep. Because it's one of the main ways they spot it. And I said that was poisonous. I ate it and it hurt. You're getting to the point you can't eat smaller fish. They're too small and you don't give a shit, even though you should totally get nourishment from them. Yeah, and the skill definitely doesn't help, because you can't really tell what is a smaller fish in the sense of the game anyways. So it's basically just eat those parrot fish. Guitar fish! There's a guitar fish. The only thing that can eat the guitar fish are great white sharks. Huh. He they can also is actually a pretty big goddamn predator. They can also break aquariums. Yep. There is a glitch in Endless Ocean where if you put three of these fish into the aquarium, it crashes the game. Basically, it's symbolizing the power of the guitar fish to erase reality. It's a faithful reproduction. 
They just rock that hard. They erase your saves too, actually, if I remember correctly. I believe it. I believe it does sometimes, but not always. Uh, they did fix this for the American release, but they had to recall the Japanese version. Humphead Rass. Humphead Rass. This is what we were all waiting for. The Humphead Rass. I was pumped for this. Oh, I'm living yes. the dream. Eat that oyster. Crush it with your powerful lips. It's got, it's got more kissy lips in this game than the creepy lips of real life. It's also, it's also very brown. It's, it tends to be a bit more bluish green in real life. They're, they're very, yeah. So you can eat sea cucumbers. It's the only fish that need a sea cucumber. Anything else eats a sea cucumber, it pretty much dies. Huh. Giant grouper. Again, only the great white can eat it. Which I guess is kind of true for real life, but not really. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. I see we're not seeing any sort of mammals in this at all. Nope, none at all. I'm pretty sure there's dolphins. Oh, oh god, it went black. Oh god, what did I do? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's dolphins in the Great Barrier Reef. Oh. And whales of various sorts. Oh, the black tip reef shark. Looking now, if you look, it actually wings. says it can eat any small fish, including electric rays, which we experience, and puffer fish. Mm hmm. So it explicitly says it can eat puffer fish. Guess what? Eating the puffer fish hurts the hell out of you. But so but you, you can game. eat it. Yes. It's technically not entirely wrong. It just nearly sometimes kills you. Eat mm -hmm. that grouper. I like how it said that it hurt your stomach. On the other hand, when you think about it, it probably gave you less a stomach ache, more internal bleeding. And I believe that's... Yeah, the great white shark is the final fish. Its enemy is humans, but there are no humans in this game, so... So you, you can't lose. In this game, they can eat great whites. Um... At this point, you are basically just click anything. Yeah, the great white can eat itself, like I just did there. My great white just swallowed a great white, a giant grouper, and a black tip shark hole. I don't oh, think god. that's... Oh god! What? I got eaten by a great white shark. Yeah. I don't think it quite works that way. It works. A great white that ate a great white and a black tip and a giant grouper can get eaten by another great white hole. Uh, I, I don't think it works that way, though. This tier. This game's bullshit. Joko. That's how you spell my name, right? Yeah, I, I think so. It's about right. Uh, yeah, fuck this game. Uh, you only got Water Wizard. You didn't make it to Refueler. I'm only a Hydromancer, yes. Bye-bye.